Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Inktober number eight. This one is Canis Venetici. I believe I'm saying that right. It is the hunting dog constellation. I chose a dog breed very, very close to my heart, the Ibizen Hound, which most of you probably haven't heard of. If you have, major points with me on that. They are an ancient breed that looks like Anubis, but are mostly associated with rabbit hunting in Spain. I had an Ibizen Hound a few years back, just before I went to art school. His name was Kairos, and he was the absolute love of my life. Unfortunately, Kairos had epilepsy, and I had to make the very, very difficult decision to put him to sleep when he was only three years old. We tried everything, but he just, nothing was responding, and it was beginning to really take a toll on his life. Someday I'll definitely do a video on it because it was a huge impact in my life, and I do love the breed. I will be getting another Abusen Hound when I'm ready, hopefully soon. It has been almost four years now since he's been gone. When I decide to bring another dog into my life, I will go over the breed. But I just want to say, because I get the question often, this is an ancient breed and the wonderful individuals who work on keeping this breed on earth do not make a profit from what they do and are focused solely on happy, healthy dogs. Kairos was a fluke incident so I would appreciate no negative commentary on that. So onto the illustration. With the Canis Venetici, my mom and I were actually looking it up and found that there is a whirlpool galaxy in the constellation. So I wanted to put that in the background. I thought it would be a cool element. So that's what I'm doing here with the watercolor and of course the salt. For those who are new here, I do have a supply video that goes over what I'm using if you wanna check that out and I list most of it below and on that video. But basically I am doing wet into wet watercolor and ink, kind of like a mixture in the background and then I place salt onto it to give that kind of starry look. Next I'm using that Deleter number no. four black ink that is super black and super waterproof to fill in the dogs. Most of my animal, I think actually all of my animals in this series have just been black silhouettes. I think I'm gonna use that throughout the series as a design element. I kind of like it. It gives quite a contrast in the piece. A few people were asking why I kind of go back and forth between using a brush with black ink, a pen with black ink, and then a liner with black ink. It's mainly because my brush is has to be filled with the platinum carbon ink because it's waterproof. So I don't want to fill in large black areas with that because it's not as dark as I want it to be, but I will go in and do some line work with that. With this one, I used just the Unipin fine liner because the characters in this piece are relatively small on the page. So my brush pen is pretty hard to manage when it's that small. So just to be sure, I started out with the, the liner first to have more control. I do go in later on with the brush pen and give some deeper line variation. I actually like how I did the hand in this one. I'm proud of myself. It's weird because I swear, I, I have the most hard time doing hands when they are in a typical position but if they're in a weird, exaggerated position, that's when I have no problem with it. <laughs> I did that gradient effect again with the skin so that her hand is darker, which hands usually are darker because they have more blood flow, but also I wanted them to be dark because I wanted it to be a focal point. So the brightest part of that Galaxy is behind the hand, so I wanted the hand to be dark to contrast with the background. Most times when I decide where I want something to be light versus dark, it just has to do with focal point. If something is really dark against something really light, your eye is going to be drawn there first.
Then I'm going back in and doing more layers to this galaxy. I wanted to be very careful with it. I was using reference because I didn't know exactly how they looked. It's not as detailed as of course they would be, but I wanted to get the main concept down and get some variations of color and swirl in there. The salt really helped with this to look like distant stars. I may have gone overboard with texture on this. There's texture in the background, texture in the hair, and texture in the dress, but I just had a lot of fun with it. I like texture. I wanted there to be texture in her dress, but as a gradient, so it goes from a lot of texture and dark into light further up the body, and slight texture in her hair, so it doesn't compete with the straight black that the dogs are. I'm adding some of that messed up chrome pen shine into their eyes and I gave them kind of like little star earrings. I think dogs with earrings is kind of cool. I don't know why, I've just always drawn dogs with earrings. Now I'm just adding some shadows into the woman, especially around her dress so you can see it pop out a bit more. I was trying to decide how to do some embellishments to her dress. I couldn't make it white because her dress is white and it wouldn't really stand out against her skin. So I decided instead of doing chrome, I would go back to kind of what I've always done and use some gold metallic paint. I usually use Fine Tech gold paint but I, I can't find mine. I, I moved and I can't find it. So I have my little palette from Sakura. It's not as pigmented as I'd like though, so I will probably go back and use my fine tech when I find them. After Inktober is over, I really want to start exploring painting on wood with watercolor and maybe back into oils again and utilizing positive and negative space, kind of like I've been playing around with with these Inktobers will be even more important on there because you let the wood show through and using the shiny paint like gold really stands out on wood. So you can expect that next in my projects. Lastly, I am just putting kind of like a, a blue wash over the background to sort of push it back. I, it, the white parts were standing out too much and I just wanted the white to stand out by her hand. So I just pushed it back a little bit, hopefully it worked. And then I'm just adding a few stars to the dogs. Didn't want there to be too many stars since I used so much texture all over the place. So I'm adding just a few in her hair and a few in the background. But overall I'm happy with how I planned out this piece. It came pretty naturally to me, I think just because of the Abyss and Hounds and I just got really excited about doing it. At the end, I added a little picture of Kairos so you can see what he looked like. My sweet little angel. And here is the finished piece. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. This is probably my favorite so far just because it is so personal to me. And I really like how the galaxy turned out. That was a lot of fun. I think I'll definitely be using more reference um, and different types of galaxies and nebulas in the next few pieces. I hope you all are enjoying Inktober yourselves. Thank you all so much for all of your views and subscribes and likes. Keep them coming if you like what I'm doing. It's really encouraging me to keep doing videos. I will see you next time for the Cancer Constellation. Have a great day.